Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Show It Better. And in this episode, we are going to learn how to use Lumion's Live Sync for Revit, SketchUp, Rhino, ArchiCAD, and many more. So let's get started. Okay, so as many of you know, Lumion has a plugin for different 3D modeling programs called Live Sync. And in this case, we're going to look at Lumion Live Sync for Revit. So if you don't have it installed, you can go to the Autodesk's page. I will have this link down below and download the Lumion plugin for free. So I think this is available from Lumion 8.3 and to the, the nine. That's the one that current that currently it's working. And as soon as you guys have it, you install it and it's going to show up on on your uh, on your Revit uh, on a Revit tab called Lumion, right? So remember that to use this in your Revit Revit program, you have to be in a 3D view. It can be you know any 3D perspective view. If it's in a 3D isometric mode, it won't uh, synchronize you know as quickly. It won't, it won't synchronize with the view in your Lumion file, right? So we want we also want to open a Lumion file, and we want to divide the screen by seeing the both of the model of the pages right so the lumion the lumion part and the revit part so as you guys so as soon as you guys divide your screen and you guys are in a perspective mode you are you want to press play the play button on the live sync option right as soon as you press play it's going to take maybe a little while to load it depends on the you know how heavy your model is and then as you guys can see it's going to appear so if I want to move, uh, you know, with my model, for example, in Revit, I press Shift and uh, the scroll key, and as you guys can see, it automatically updates on the Lumion screen, right? Because that's what the Live Sync is about. That you can work on your Revit pay on your Revit model or on your SketchUp model or ArchiCAD model, and you know, see in real time the changes in the Lumion uh, software. So this is something pretty pretty cool and that it doesn't you know as you guys can see it's not really slow it, it, it it's working pretty fast and i think maybe if you have a heavier model it will be a little bit slower but it's nothing you know that uh, consumes a lot of your of your computer so when you're when you're in revit you can also you know make tons of changes to the materials to the view to uh you know the place the walls are you know any any changes and it will it will automatically synchronize with your Revit model. So as you guys can see here, I selected the roof and I want to change the material of the roof. I don't want a, a red roof, but I want maybe a silver or a metal metal roof. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the properties, select another material, press OK. And as soon as we press OK, you guys can see it's going to take a while. while just, it's just going to take a little, little second while it loads, but the changes are automatically uh, visible in the Lumion model, right? And this applies to everything, you know, to the roof, to the grass, to the walls, and maybe, for example, you want to erase a window, and so you can do that as well. As soon as you erase the window, it's going to be updated automatically in your Revit uh, model. You have to take into account that you have to have a, a saved model. You know, your model has to be saved in Revit. So this is a, more or less the workflow that we have in Revit, but it's very similar in the other programs. Remember that uh, this is available also for programs like ArchiCAD, uh, like Rhino, like SketchUp, and I think in the, in the future, much, much more. So right now, to the date of this video, it's available to those. And as you guys can see, I can also go to my Lumion model and, for example, change the grass, as you guys can see with uh, the Lumion 9 uh, features we have uh, the 3d real grass option which uh, has you know a very different options and a very di very different array of grasses and, and here i'm using the wild grass which makes everything you know like look more farmish you know much much more cool and yeah this is something that you know when you're when you're you know running with a project and you you want to present it in your plans but you also have to make renders this just makes the workflow so much easier and so much faster you can also you also have the option to export as a Collada file uh, if you want to export your 3D model 
to Lumion, but uh, with this, it, you know, it saves a bunch of time and it's just way, way easier when you want to get, you know, some renders, animations, uh, 360 panoramas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here I'm just going to leave you guys with a quick time lapse that of what I did after I uh, used the Lumion Live Sync for Revit. I, you know, I wanted to get some nice pictures out. So I changed the materials, all of this like, with the new Lumion 9 Pro. And I quickly, you know, set up a scene, put up some trees, put up some real skies, which is also a feature of Lumion 9. And I put out a quick image, right? So I think this is something pretty interesting. And I think the results were really nice. And after this, we are going to see how to use Live Sync for SketchUp, all right? So stay tuned. So as you guys can see here in the time lapse, uh, I'm not using, I'm, I'm not doing anything out of this world. I'm, you know, just inserting plants, inserting some lights, uh, you know, creating a nice scene. And uh, so I'm just going to create a little afternoon scene, afternoon scene with the real skies option, and also you know insert a little bit more of tr more trees in the in the foreground so there can be more shadows, and you know render this image. I think this was a great great image, and uh, yeah. Now let's look at Lumion Live Sync for SketchUp. Okay, so let's take a look at Lumion Live Sync for SketchUp, right? So uh, with the Revit option, you had to download the plugin from the Autodesk page. And here you can download your plugin uh, from your extension from the extension warehouse. So if you go to the extension warehouse and type in the search bar uh, Lumion, and uh, the first option you all you, you will see will be the Lumion Live Sync option. You just download it. This is all for free. You know, download it, install it, and you will be able to use Lumion Live Sync. So I, I already have it installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for a 3D model in the 3D warehouse, which we can use as an example. There are a lot of awesome 3D models and I will leave the one that I use in this video in the link down below, okay? So as soon as I download this model, uh, what we want to do is uh, again, you know, we want to save this project first. If it's uh, if the project is not saved, we cannot be able to open it in Lumion. So you want to save it as a file first. And then you want to open your Lumion file, you know, a new Lumion file. And we also want to divide the screen just as we did with our Revit file. We want to divide the screen so we can see in one part our SketchUp uh, file and in the other part our Lumion file. As soon as we have the screen divided, we just press play on, on our Lumion plugin option, just as we did with the Revit one. And, you know, it will take a little bit, a little bit longer to load. It's, you know, it's not that big of a deal if it's a big if it's a bigger model maybe it'll take longer but eventually it loads and it works just fine and as soon as you and as soon as you load it you guys will be able to see that we have our view and you know anything that we do in SketchUp will automatically update and synchronize with the model in Lumion right so if you know if we if we're just navigating navigating around the model and or if we're making any changes, then it will be automatically updated and visible for all of us to see. So um, 
so I'm going to show you guys some examples. If I, for example, wanted to, uh, you know, make this roof a little bit higher or, you know, just uh, explode the roof so everyone, so the clients could see what's inside, I just move it in the SketchUp model and automatically it synchronizes in the Lumion file. Also, if I want to erase some trees, I just have to erase them and they will automatically be synced. So this is a pretty, pretty cool tool. I don't have Rhino or ArchiCAD, so I can show you guys, but it's, pre it's pretty much the same process, right? So, um, you know, you can use it with many, many programs and it will work just fine. So as we did with our last file, um, so as we did with our last file, uh, this is like a little time lapse of the, the image I did using Lumion 9 Pro, which I also think is so, so crazy good. It just has so many awesome functions and, you know, it just has a lot of cool, cool things. So, for example, in this occasion, uh, with this awesome 3D model, I could, I could, uh, I exported this awesome image uh, that looked pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, so so remember that if any of you guys want to use Lumion Live Sync, uh, you guys can uh, download it, um, depending on the program you're going to use. So if you're going to use uh, Revit, you can download it in the Autodesk App Store. If you want to use, uh, you know, SketchUp, you can download it, download it at the extension warehouse. And I'm thinking in the future, you will be able to use them with many, many, many more programs. All right. So I hope you guys liked this video. We're going to have many, many more Lumion videos coming up. Uh, there are a ton of things I want to show you guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.